Hi, what do you do when you have a computer problem? Um, it's not starting up. You don't know if there is a, a power problem or there is something else. Uh, from where do you start? First of all, you have to investigate and find out whether it's a simple problem or something can uh, be repaired easily and it's not going to cost you that much. And that's what we're going to do today. Here an example I'm going to show you. This is a motherboard. Um, it comes with um, single processor Intel, 2 gig of RAM. It's about 4-5 years old. And what's happening today here, um, this motherboard um, it's not working and it failed. Um, we tried to do the troubleshoot so it's not working. The computer as a computer, the whole unit, it's, um, it doesn't have any other issues. So it will be uh, easier to just replace the faulty parts. Now the faulty parts, there's always a couple of uh, variables you have to go through and eliminate and to find actual uh, errors and problems and then you um, apply the repair. Now, in our case here, because this motherboard is an old uh, motherboard and obviously the CPU is single, it's an old and 2 gig of RAM DDR2. So what are we going to do? Um, we're going to change the whole all uh, unit, the motherboard, the CPU and the memory. The video card is a PCI Express. It's also an old, so we're going to put a new one, but that's not a a major uh, part because you can still use the old one. So um, one of the things that you should consider as well um, to choose uh, Intel i5 or i7 or i3 uh, second generation processor if you're going to change this in 2011. Intel i5 and i3 and i7 and there's different uh, between them in terms of the core processor and speed. Um, and Intel, uh, they explain that very clear in their website. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to install this Intel uh, Core uh, i5 into this motherboard and I'm going to show uh, you how you can do that. So what we have here, we have this processor. Normally it comes sealed um, and you can see the processor inside. So you just open this and um, That's the heatsink fan. So we have to take this out of this here. Now that's the processor. You have to be very uh, careful in uh, doing this setup. Um, I'm going to take this out. Okay, you can see here I have um, just a small diagram which shows um, what this motherboard I'm going to install the CPU, what it had. So it comes with the motherboard. Okay, so we have the heatsink, we have the CPU, and we have the motherboard. So see, just take the C. Now that's where the socket where we uh, install the CPU. So we start with this. This is the protection. So we remove this. That's the CPU. Now the CPU has certain uh, one way position to install. See this and this. So it has to go one way and normally from the look to the socket you know it's it's going to be installed this way so it's in you just look you don't need to press once you put it in 
it's there. And now I lock this. So this is very uh, easy, and you can see I just uh, installed it in in a minute. Now we're going to put some uh, thermal paste, which is um, to cool uh, and increase the the CPU uh, cooling. You don't need to put uh, too much. It's just uh, a light will be enough. Now this is the heat sink. I'm going to um, install this and put it direct to the motherboard to power it and we're going to position this here now we're watching I'm using my two hand and this is um, in the same direction I'm, I'm pushing in both sides on the same time that's it, it's locked now I do the same things on the other side now it's locked to um, add the comments feel free to do so thank you